Hello tanks and tankettes and welcome to something I've not done in a while, a bit of live recorded gameplay. Now 9.18 has finally hit EU and with it the changes to artillery and matchmaking along with some other things but those are the two kind of headlines. Now NA of course had it before we did for a bit of a a further live test and uh, as others have speculated and uh, I am uh, a thing that I'm fully in agreement with is that it probably was because they um, were particularly concerned about the effects of the matchmaking changes on the live server and um, having played this game for a while and, and um, observed how Wargaming has uh, made changes to matchmaking in the past um, yeah, it's it's one of their kind of like big headlines things. Uh, it, it, like they're very very conservative when it comes to changing the matchmaking, so it doesn't happen often, and uh, hence the uh, uh, rather unusual decision to put a patch out well ahead on one server. But they were obviously happy with the results, at least initially. So it's now on EU. I'm sure it'll be on other servers soon as well. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, overall so far, it seems not bad. Now, because this is the artillery, uh, the updates, or it is a big change to artillery, and one that's been a long time in the works, uh, that's what I'm going to be playing today. But at first, I thought I'd um, maybe show this off a little, because I finally unlocked it earlier today. I took the, the Conqueror gun carriage out, and because they've changed the RT mission requirements, to be in line with how artillery now works. Um, after literally um, maybe a year at this point, probably over a year, of just every so often trying to do the RT Mission 15 for the final token for this thing, uh, and just failing and failing and failing and failing because artillery is so RNG. Uh, I think the closest I came was missing out on the third place because you had to be in the top three of the team and do uh, over a certain amount of damage. And um, there was one occasion where I think I got fourth place on the team and I missed out by something like 8 XP. So along comes the update, like second game in the CGC and suddenly with the new mechanics. Hey presto, third on the team, only did 1800 damage, but I also had something like 1200 assistance and then a further 1600 from um, people damaging vehicles while they were stunned which is kind of like a second form of assistance damage basically and so uh, between all three of them you know that was over 3000 worth of, of damage and uh, in fact probably more like over 4000 and that was enough for being fourth place on the team and so hey presto <laughs> just like that I finally have the HTC after a lot of trying but anyway, this isn't about the HTC, and I've been talking for like three minutes now, so let's actually play some games. So, um, yeah, I've taken this out already. We'll take it out again, because it's... I don't have a lot of artillery. And of the uh, the four I do have, the two premium ones, I don't think they've actually been changed that much. Like, the Lefer still has all the, uh, the ammo it ever had. I think the Sexton... Yeah, the Sexton still gets AP as well. Uh, whereas I think all the other artillery, the regular artillery, just now have a choice of HE or premium HE. Although the Burt still only ha just has the regular HE. So, how is the Orbital Death Cannon? Oh, wow, straight into a match. Um, well, just from playing the... Uh, was it two or three? I think three games early. Yeah, it was three. Um, already, just from the point of view of playing artillery which previously was an immensely frustrating, unreliable experience, um, you're not going to get the huge damage numbers anymore. But you can still get decent scores, and you can still help out your team by um, tracking people now with the larger splash radius and with the stun mechanic. Now, the thing with the stun mechanic in particular is um, you have to be very careful firing around your own uh, team's tanks because be you've got this now much larger radius. I mean, just the standard AP on this is what nine? Actually, I don't think it says there. Uh, but it's something like nine meters, ten meters, and then was it twelve? I can't remember. It might be twelve actually. But I mean, it's 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 big. Uh, it, it's it's a big radius, and so um, you are well. 
in danger of um, doing bad things to your allies when you don't mean to. I wonder if it should be here or over there. I don't know. Everybody's going up. So we'll see how it is. They've also put in a new artillery view, which is... Um, I don't know how often I'll be using that, so maybe I'm going to take a little bit getting used to it. Let's try a shot there, and... I've actually splashed an ally, but... There you go, you see the things popping up there, so... Um, because I tracked him, I'm getting the assistance damage. And I also stunned him. So, yeah, uh, I took a little bit of health off allies there, and that's... I was not expecting that RU to actually drive forward at that point, but... Uh, he did. So, um... In some ways, you know, it's... Uh, it's uh, definitely improvement, but I think just from the few battles I've played, um, my overall kind of thought is, well, we're going to have to wait and see ultimately what effect this has overall. I think it's too early to say, well, this is a really positive thing or this is a really negative thing. I think it's actually going to be a mix of positive and negative because stuff like this usually is. So um, once... Uh, like a couple of months have gone by, we will definitely know, uh, know a lot more um, how things are in terms of, you know, the unintended consequences, especially. Because that that's the kind of the, wow, they're really pushing along that line. Yeah, um, that's always the thing that's going to catch you out with stuff like World of Tanks, where, you, you, you know, you throw real players into the mix and suddenly all bets are off. Because uh, people do things you don't expect. That's one of the difficulties of game design, multiplayer game design especially, is how do you account for people doing all the weird and wonderful things that you don't expect them to. Uh, I think we should probably help these guys out a bit more. So yeah, I've done... Uh, 1500 damage so far is not bad, but you know, some of the hits maybe would have been bigger. I think my reload on this is actually better as well. Um, so uh, yeah, like time will tell, and Wargaming have said... Um, that barring you know if this doesn't really work out then uh, what they will do is probably just remove artillery entirely so there we go so I didn't do a lot of damage there but I have forced him to back off and um, conversely well this is not good um, if I tried to help that tiger I probably would have killed our own tiger but yeah let's let's help this guy out now we've got the the upper ground they've got Strisvagen over there but uh, I think we're winning this one reasonably well so far uh oh that's not good the yeah, IU's going to get behind our oh, this is a situation where I really am going to struggle to help out an ally I won't be able to help without actually because he's going to try and ass hug the uh, one there we go but that just kind of caught the uh, never mind. Anyway, so I saved the uh, the T95. One thing I was going to point out on the HTC actually um, that is worth knowing is spool liners now have a mitigating effect on the duration of um, the stun effect, and premium health kits do as well. So uh, you get 10% for spool liners, and then an, an, an additional 5% for uh, the um, for the, uh, the premium health kits. So you can have up to 15% reduction in total, which is not nothing. So take out the Emil. He was low enough health for that to happen. Yeah, this is definitely a much shorter reload, so even on that alone, this is way more comfortable to play. And, and it just, like, artillery feels more reliable, more predictable. And um, that's no bad thing from playing it um, but then, of course, you know, playing against it, that's going to be a different experience as well. That That is a thing that's also going to take a while to shake out, is um, the like the change in how artillery works is, is going to create a new meta, inevitably. And it's going to take a little while before that new meta, like before people figure out how to work with that. Um, this is... Um, I, I'm not sure why these guys here aren't, like helping, I don't know, this D95 might be a bit screwed, baby. Yeah, he is, unfortunately. Uh, right, if they can keep this E100 spotted. So yeah, artillery is just, it's so much less frustrating now. It's just, it, it, it really is different. And, um, 
I think from that point of view, like Wargaming had done a reasonably good job. And just compared to how artillery was, I would take this over old artillery any day, essentially. Um, like artillery used to be just, I don't know. It, it was just such a poorly implemented holdover from the, uh, the old days of World of Tanks. I'm not sure there's much else you could say about it. But some people will miss it, of course, because some people, you know, for some people, playing artillery was all about those huge damage numbers. There was that kind of psychological element. And that, that part is gone. You now have to fire more often. You have to be a bit more active. Although the essential core component of the fact that you're just sitting at range, firing over and over, uh, and just even that was enough to splash the fire. That's ridiculous. Um, yeah, um, like that hasn't changed. But I feel like I'm helping my team a bit more now, if that makes any sense, when I'm playing artillery. And I'm not just being a filthy clicker. Although I am still being a bit of a filthy clicker. So that was um, like 2,398 with a, a fair number of shots fired. Um, but there was also another like 1,800-ish, um, 1,850 assistance on top of that. Did a little bit of team damage. I, I, I don't think the team, like if you stun a teammate, I don't think that counts against you. But um, oddly enough, playing my tier 10 artillery is still not that profitable. I might take the Burt out as well. I haven't, like I haven't tried out the bird. I don't know what that's going to be like. Uh, oh, that's a new medal. Interesting. Um, and I've completed a thing, because of course I'm now on to the T-55A missions. So let's take out the Burt. Let's see how Burt performs. And um, once again, straight into a battle. Um, one of the other changes they made with artillery was um, limiting it to three per team, and that means you will see artillery more often. So, that could be seen as a downside. But you'll be seeing the new artillery, you know, more often as opposed to the old artillery. Um, which, you know, if you've been seeing that all the time. I remember what that was like. You know, I've been playing long enough to remember when you had no restrictions on how many arty there were per team. And you could have, like, literally 10 plus artillery. And it made the top tiers, you know, it made the high tiers unplayable. So, where we are now is a, a really far cry from that. So it's me and what, a pair of M44s, every team has a pair of Burt's. I think that's set up here to begin with. Uh, actually, I don't know. I, it's been so long. It's like, before playing artillery uh, earlier today, um, I'm not sure I could tell you the last time I, I took any of my, my arties out for a spin. To be quite honest, like, it's been a really long time. Um, like months probably since I last tried to uh, um, have a stab at doing the RT12 mission. Right, he's just outside of range. What about this T37? Because it's it was just it's frustrating. And there was no there was no fun to it. And so you left, you know, in those rare occasions when you're going into, well, I was left, going into World of Tanks and uh, only ever playing against Arty and not really enjoying that so much either. Right, I'm probably in a really terrible position, but I don't know. Is he going to go forwards, back? What are you doing? Of course, Burt's, even with a bigger splash, still has a really tiny splash. That Hellcat's not in a good way. Nope. It's really nowhere close. Well. Burt fires just as fast as ever. Oh, I should clip him. Nope. <laughs> That's how little splash Burt still has. Even with the new mechanics. So you're still going to be pecking people to death with birds, I guess, rather than uh, accumulating lots of assistance damage. Right, oh, there's the Skoda. 
Oh, I am spotted. Apparently. I didn't realise I was spotted. So I should probably move, hey. Although, uh, it's not like the rest of the team's doing that much better. Uh, but what are you going to do? Will attacks. Well, they can change the mechanics, but they can't change the players. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's pop off a couple of rounds of this KV-85. And, oh, well, okay, I... <laughs> what? I got hit here? That must have splashed me next to me, because there's no way that hit me directly from that direction. Like, the bird's good, but... I, well, I, I suppose it might theoretically... I was thinking maybe that house there blocked it, but I was sort of in between the eaves of... But still, I was quite close to those houses there, so... I don't know. Anyway, so yes, you can change the game, but you can't change the players. Well, this was just an absolute ruffle stomp, wasn't it? So, um... Yeah, artillery. I'm, I'm still... I'm, I'm waiting to, you know, see how it shakes out, basically. Uh, my initial impressions are rather favourable. I actually played on the NA server a bit when it uh, um, rolled out there, and um, I don't have any RT on the NA server, so it was all more having people fire their RT at me. And I've not played that much so far in non-arty tanks today. I think I've played only two non-artillery rounds today. But I'm not I'm not hating it. You know, that combination plus what I played on NA, I'm I'm absolutely not hating it so far. Um I, I would take this over what we had, definitely. If you can figure out what this ARL's doing by the way, um it's beyond me. It's just I don't know tabbed out reading reddit or something um yeah so i like it's not perfect i'm not going to say i think it's perfect but i think it's an improvement i definitely think it's an improvement and just how this is now even though stun mechanics in games are usually quite controversial there are plenty of examples where games have introduced stun exam uh, stun examples stun mechanics and it's just been really unpopular but um, I think now that we finally have this actually live and not just on a, a sandbox server where the matchmaking is all a bit wonky and everyone's firing premium and you get all kinds of weird things happening. Um, yeah, my, my first impression is, is good. And I think maybe there are refinements that could be brought to it, but... Uh, Time will definitely tell. Anyway, so, um, that was, well, we killed more of them in the end than I thought we would, but that was still fairly one-sided. <laughs> so, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to go away and, uh, maybe I should have said at the start, but this, this was a, I wasn't planning to do this today. I've been working on a CK2 video for literally four days now. Well, I recorded it on Monday, and then it's Caption Guy. Caption Guy's been taking his sweet time actually doing whatever it is he does, adulterating my videos. Um, but, uh, yeah, that that one's still ongoing, so uh, I just have to drum my fingers and wait for Caption Guy to do his stuff. So, uh, meanwhile, if you enjoyed this little bit of live arty gameplay with the new and... Some would say improved, some would probably say not, artillery. Uh, you can leave any comments below. You can hit the like button, or the dislike button, <laughs> as may be. Uh, you can sub to my channel if you haven't already. And, as always, stay tuned for more.